Welcome back to FTL. Today we'll be doing a playthrough with the rock type B ship, the Shivan. Uh, I really like this ship. It's pretty unique uh, in a number of ways. You can see you have a good starting rock crew. Um, one thing you might notice, and it's the chief uh, drawback of the ship, is that there are no doors to the outside. So you have no way of sucking the air out of your ship to deal with a fire or to uh, fend off borders, things like that. You're totally sealed in. Uh, the other thing it has is this unique weapon down here, the Heavy Pierce 1. Uh, this is basically a heavy laser that also pierces one layer of shielding. It's really good, actually. I think it's really cool. Um, the first time I played through with this ship, the only time I've actually used it before, I used this thing all the way through the game. It was just really handy. So hopefully we'll see a lot of that in action. And it's got a firebomb too, which will be really nice if we can get a crew teleporter and use some of our rockmen as a boarding party. Anyway, I think we are ready to go. Let's just rename it. There. It looks like a goth tortoise to me. Alright, let's go. It's also nice that we have a full crew, four people starting out. You don't see that very often. We can't power both weapons at once, but for the early game, the Heavy Pierce is really all you need. Alright, let's attack this automated ship. Since I don't need to worry about their shields, there's no reason to even target them. My Heavy Pierce is just going to go straight through. And, of course, <laughs> the first hit we take is to the weapons bay. So I'll have to get that fixed up. Alright, let's see if we can take out this drone that's harassing us. some nice stuff for that. Let's check out the store. Oh, fun. We have a breach bomb that I'm tempted to buy. We could also buy a door system. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this because this way we can actually upgrade our doors. Uh, not only do we not have doors to the outside, but we don't even control them to start with. And that's pretty important, so I'm going to go ahead and invest in that now. sector. Let's see if we can take these guys out before they jump away. Fire. Not really an issue on a Rockman crude ship. Especially not when it's in an empty room like that. It does take a little while to kill enemy ships when all you've got is a two damage weapon. But I think the fact that it pierces shields guaranteed makes it more than worthwhile. Didn't get much scrap for that, but we won the fight.
Yeah, in the early game, not having to worry about shields or ammunition is just tremendously powerful. This is a really fun ship to play early on. It does get more challenging once you start coming across enemies with two shields, because then if you don't have better weapons at that point, your options are severely limited. But hopefully that won't be an issue. I was advised by people on YouTube that often targeting the piloting controls is better than targeting the engines because it takes less damage to disable them and it gives you the same effect of preventing ships from jumping away and lowering their elevation. system on the ship out of spite. We got a new crew member, and it's another Rockman. Cool. scheme of the ship too. All black and glowy red. It's nice and menacing looking. You get a pretty good reward there. I'm going to take a risk and see if this will connect to the exit. Hopefully we'll be able to beat the rebel fleet there. glitch there. Hopefully that wasn't too agonizing. Yeah, sometimes Soundflower glitches out like that. It can be a little weird. Should have targeted their engines there instead of hitting their weapons twice, but I think we'll still be alright. Yep. We have a pretty hostile map ahead of us. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the nebula. Actually, no. I would rather be able to see more about where I'm going. I'm going to take a risk and go to the pirate sector. We've got a store right here, which is good news. Oh, and some good weaponry, too. Okay. Definitely going to buy that pike beam. And I'm going to go ahead and buy the burst laser as well. I am taking a little bit of risk here not upgrading my shields, but hopefully it won't come back to bite me in the ass. Five fuel for one drone part, sure. Get some free scrap there.
Wow, two misses in a row. There we go. I'm just gonna hit their weapons again, because yeah, they are trying to repair them. Stupid rebel ships have so much health. It takes forever to take them down if you're not putting out a ton of damage. check out the store because I have a few things I'd like to sell. Such as, oh that's a defense drone, I should really hang on to that. The firebomb is cool but I really need the scrap more than anything right now. Because with that I can afford to upgrade my shields. I should go ahead and heal up the guys who have taken hits while I'm at it. staying ahead of the rebel fleet here. Curious to see what kind of damage the pierce laser does to the Zoltan shield. I wonder if it'll be higher than normal lasers. Oh, yeah, I think that was better than a standard laser shot. simple to put out. Oh wow, yeah that was quick. Stasis pod or weapon? I think we want the weapon this time. Heavy ion? Uh, not actually that great a weapon. Fires very slowly. It does two ion damage, but that's not great. Oh, and yeah, just as I was afraid, we're going to have to jump back through the Rebel fleet to get to the exit. I think now might be a good time to upgrade our engine. So I can jump away a little bit faster. <laughs> a border. That's cute. Where's he going? Oxygen room? Okay. Yeah, there's really no point in even wasting time shooting at these guys. I would much rather just jump out as soon as I can. Just have to hope they don't hit my engine room before I can do that. I'm a little low on health, too. Haven't had too much luck with our rock plating yet. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fight the rebel fleet the whole way through this sector. Let's see, I might as well at least give the heavy ion a shot. Maybe I can disable their shields and actually take them out, or at least take down their weapons so I can keep from getting shot up. 
Yeah, that just doesn't really do enough damage to be useful. And it fires so slowly compared to the other ion weapons. I mean, maybe it's good and I'm just not familiar enough with it, but I've never really seen the appeal. Okay. Once again... At least these guys don't have a missile launcher. Getting some decent skill upgrades at least. us in the long run because this is like five sectors that we could have been going through collecting scrap and instead we're just sitting here running from the rebel fleet. Now we'll be sitting here for a little longer. There we go. Rock plating at least prevented one point of damage there. get out of here in one piece. So let's do that. I have to go through another pirate sector, but hopefully there will be a store nearby and we can... Yeah, alright, good. Be able to get some scrap and then fix up our ship. Cool, 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 cool. Bunch of scrap and an automated reloader. Always welcome. And we find another store, this one being run by those Engi that we rescued. I'm going to sell the heavy ion because I don't plan on using that. That's going to have to do for now as far as upgrades go. Now if I can do a little bit of power juggling, I at least got a decent shot at doing some damage. We're getting pretty lucky with these random events as well. They're all things that we are equipped to deal with. Okay, these guys only have one level of shielding, so... First step is going to be to take out their weapons so they can't fire missiles at us all day. But now I just want to take down their shields so I can carve them up with the pike beam.
in our engine room, but that is nothing to be worried about. too often from just random enemy ships. That was a very quick fight. Just gotta take out that drone, patch up the hole in my hull, and then we'll be good to go. possible place they could have landed. And they teleported off. And that asteroid did my job for me. Very cool. Finally building up a decent supply of scrap now, which is comforting. Resources. Getting a little bit lucky with that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm having those audio glitches this time. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully it won't be too jarring. So I think this is a good point to leave off. Join me next time when we'll move on to Sector 4.